my name is Katherine Denae. I am a fiber artist, more specifically, I am a felter, a needle felter. I've been doing that for about seven years. Prior to that, I was doing sculptural work, but upon getting married and losing um, kind of my bigger studio space, I wanted to start sculpting again, and I needed some sort of outlet, some sort of medium that didn't need fire or a kiln or some sort of elaborate process like that. So I started dabbling with wool, I, a medium that we had talked about and used a little bit in college. Um, and it just really took off because it really meshed well with the topics that I love, which are nature, animals, um, things like that. I have been the artist in residence at two national parks and one state park. Now, uh, my last, last summer and this summer have looked a little different. Last summer I had a one-year-old and decided to focus on him and um, not a residency. And this summer, <clears throat> we actually just had our daughter. So again, it looks a little different. I actually won't even be doing as many festivals or um, art shows this year <clears throat> either. But one thing that did pop up and that I'm excited to announce is that one of the national parks reached out to me to do a little bit of rehab work on the sculpture that I left them. So that is what's in this big box. Um, unfortunately, due to uh, just pregnancy fatigue and a two-year-old uh, and everything else that goes with high risk and, and just all sorts of stuff, I haven't even opened this box yet. So you are going to come with me as I open this box from John Day Fossil Beds National Monument. In here is Orville the Oridont, and we're gonna see what he looks like. Now one thing about this sculpture is he was meant to be interacted with. Um, he was meant to be loved and touched and seen by the visitors. That's part of the reason why they asked me to do this rehab. I have no idea what he looks like. A few people have tagged me in some of their stories throughout the years um, with him in their stories. And the last one I got was probably over a year ago. And he was looking a little rough in the brief footage that I saw. So I have no idea what to expect. So bear with me. Um, and here we go. I want to be very careful because I feel like that's the hump of his back. This side's a little easier. Okay. One side. It's a lot of pressure when there's a camera on and you're trying to do something you do often. Opening the box. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ooh. We packed it in good. So this is really great to actually felt on. Probably use it to ship him back. Okay. It's been since I left Oregon. That was pre-2020 was the last time I saw this guy in real life. <laughs> I love reusable. When people reduce, reuse, recycle, just use stuff. If you ever order a sculpture from me, it's generally just packed with um, stuffing that I have saved from other packages. Okay, here he is. He looks pretty squished in here. He's a big guy. Come on, Orville. Here he is. Big reveal. All right. So here he is. Looks like he's got some love. So actually, yep, we'll definitely have to do a lot with his um, claws, paws here. It feels like they're hanging on by a thread. Um, he was felted. He had a styrofoam and 
wire and whatever else I could get my hands on um, base. This is one of my pieces that definitely had an armature as I made him, um, but quite a large portion of him is felt. His, his legs were felted. Okay. All right, so not as rough as I honestly thought he was going to be. Um, let me clean this up a little and we'll take a better look at him.